what's going on everybody and welcome to your 16th Google Chrome extension development tutorial in which we'll be continuing with our rich notifications which we started in the last tutorial so in the last tutorial we created a nice little pop-up which appears when we click on the extension button because then only the script this page fires and this page calls the script and this code is fired by the browser so now let's uh, do some edits with our code and uh, down if we see on the official API page then we can see some little examples this one I just used in my previous tutorial and we have got this create image notification example now image would kinda create your pop-up box and an image under your information so let's see how this works so let's say I change the type basic to type image and I put a comma here and I write image URL same as my icon one so now when I would reload this test extension and would click on this then you see that I get this image right here as below this content which is the default which was the default pop-up in our basic one so if you see right here then then it says that use a 3 is to 2 ratio for your image otherwise a black border frames the image and uh, that technically means that Google is not in favor of displaying transparent images so just make sure to have your opaque background in the and in the image in the ratio of 3 is to 2 and also it says that due to strict content secure policy the URLs must be local or blob or data URLs so your files should be locally available in your extension and not should be loaded over the web okay so this was how do we create a image pop-up notification and let's see about the list one so with a list is uh, pretty much like same like your content one right here but the difference would be this text would be bolded and I guess uh, some bullets or maybe number ordering would be added to it and as you can see this items is kind of array which contains its own object with the title message and the message one so let's just copy this thing who has got time to type this and we have got this items one let's copy this again uh, let's paste it a bunch of times so let's just edit this pop up one this is item two pop up two this is item two pop up three this is item three okay so we are good to go and uh, don't forget to change it to list and comment out your image URL because we can't have image URL in the list one so now let's reload this and uh, let's go to the uh, page and let's click the extension icon and you can see now that we have got a nice little list and the difference is this text is uh, opacity maybe or the color is black but this color is little grayish type which distinguishes it with the list heading and the list content so that's pretty much how you insert a list inside your pop-up the small pop-up and we could actually create a progress as well uh, let's see how do we do that so you guessed it right first of all we, we need to edit the type one to progress remove the items one and add the progress to let's say 30 and now let's reload the extension and let's click on this and as you can see we have got this sweet little bar down here filled up to 30% of its width and you could actually make this move and how do we do that we'll learn that in our future tutorials so that's all pretty much for this and uh, okay so yeah so one thing we could uh, learn in this tutorial as well is that how do we respond to the user action let's say uh, let's say your pop-up is not that kind of informal but it's something like um, let's say Bill Gates uh, 
just tweeted or just replied to your tweet which is a big achievement but extension doesn't care and message would be like the tweet which he has uh, sent so let's say uh, you are doing a very nice job teaching people how to code Chrome extensions thank you very much sir and the icon should be the Twitter one only and actually we don't need any progress for this and I'll just remove this and I'll just turn this to basic one and now let's remove a uh, callback as well we don't need any callback and now what we want is whenever someone um, clicks on this pop-up right here um, the pop-up down here then this uh, should open a new tab and this should create a new tab basically and should redirect the user to the tweet so how do we do that we attach a event handler to this thing right here and how do we do that with this API so this is an event listener which is chrome notifications on button clicked at listener and let's just copy this thing and down here let's paste this and this is also asynchronous so let's say I write redirect window as the function and what would happen is that whenever somebody clicks on this pop-up uh, which will pop up right here this uh, redirect window function would be fired so let's say I just do alert hello world just to show you the click event so let's reload this um, click on the icon we got a pop-up let's click on the pop-up uh, okay so let me see chrome notifications on button add button clicked okay and I guess uh, this is basically for for the event which is fired on when the button is a, a some sort of button is clicked so this should be instead of on button on clicked so now let's reload this let's click here and let's click on this and we got a hello world alert box so that's how we create and attach a event listener to your chrome notification pop-up box and uh, show images and lists and progress in the chrome bridge uh, notifications and that's pretty much all about that and i'll see you then in the next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching